Good afternoon everybody and welcome back to Beanie of London. Here I am on Oxford Street. It's a Friday afternoon. It's nearly rush hour and I'm here looking at John Lewis and there's some Christmas lights running along this end of Oxford Street if you can see those. They'll be turned on I think the 8th of November but for today I'm heading on in there because for the past week I have been bobbing my head into Peter Jones's on my way home and I saw yesterday evening that there were Christmas decorations so let's go inside the flagship Oxford Street branch and have a little look at them shall we see you inside on the third floor and it says the Christmas shop is now open now as we know John Lewis normally divide their Christmas decorations into themes and although this is homeware they've dotted some of their trees about so you can walk through and enjoy some of their setups with their trees included, which is lovely. And the first thing I've come to are indeed the trees. I'm going to show these because I know a lot of people would like to have a little look and see what they've got to offer. JohnLewis.com you can have these shipped wherever you are in the world give you a good look at these look it's like a little forest look at this beauty isn't this one lovely is this a Brunswick oh it's a Sloan oh, I obviously like this one being a Chelsea gal and all. This one's gold tips. Something a bit different. Tells you how many lights you need. I normally go on a hundred lights per foot. As I like a bit of a bedazzled look. <laughs> a tall one. Gonna need a step ladder to reach the star on the top for me there. Look at that little summer house down there at the end. Isn't that lovely touch? <laughs> nice place to put them. Go to more of the lit ones for you. This one's a beauty. Lovely and bushy at the bottom there and quite realistic. And you've got a darker green, a white. Little narrow, it's like a half tree, a narrow one at the end there if you're struggling for space. Nice for the hall, that one, you know, by the front door. I feel like Hansel and Gretel. These are lovely tree skirts. Brunswick five foot. I know you can get the Brunswick in varying 
uh, heights. So that's that for trees. They're very nicely displayed, so you can have a good look at them. Should we have a little look on these stores? Because nobody's looking here. Santa's Rainbow Workshop. I think you've probably just displayed little bits from some of their themes here. And here you can pick up these cards. There you go for each of the themes. So I'm going to be picking up those as I go along. And it gives you some of the highlight baubles for that particular theme. Here we've got the Jolly General Store. Now I like the sound of this. Love this candy cane tinsel. I'm a tinsel gal. <gasps> Look at this. Oh, I love this. Bauble garland. Very nice. I like this. It kind of reminds me of like a little German market, like what you get at Winter Wonderland in High Park. Very, very cute. Lovely traditional stocking. We'll probably see more of this inside the other area, guys, so don't worry if I'm missing anything. Community garden. Oh, does anybody else use these in their tree? The sensicles. They're lovely. Shove one of them sticks in, one at the top, one in the middle, one at the bottom. Tree smells like a real one. Absolutely gorgeous. You can get different scents. Like these bronzy, copper, balls they're really nice just gonna wiggle through here some snails I don't know if I'd opt for snails but you know each to their own that's cute Sugar Plum Cafe. I reckon some of my viewers might like Sugar Plum Cafe. Like gentle rose golds. Isn't she beautiful? I'd wear that. Oh, look at these. Beautiful, vintage. And they've hung up some on this very, very delicate little garland here. It's that Sugar Plum Cafe. We've looked at the general store. Pop over to this one at the back here, shall we? Nightlife. Yeah, it's Friday. We'll have some of that. Oh, yeah, it's a cassette. Oh, yes. Does anybody use to tape the charts? On a cassette. <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, that's lovely. Nice magenta glitter ball. These are lovely. Oh my god, the jukebox, look. Oh, I might have to get that one. lovely I'm quite impressed so far and we had a look at the rainbow workshop so shall we head on through to the main business oh, hold up hold up winter fair Nice garland as well. Got your bottle brush trees. Is that what they call them? And the gonks are still going strong. He's a beauty of a Santa. I think you've got some fur throws down here. And then on this side you've got 
lovely traditional looking stockings of every colour. I like the emerald green. Got like a quilted look here. All so soft. I love the way they lay everything out in here. Why don't we start from the back? How's about that? Oh, these are lovely. I think if you have a porch or a little outside space, these are lovely. Obviously check to see if you can have them outside. <laughs> I think they look ever so glamorous. This one's 99. I think that's quite good for that. That one's 99 as well. And that one's only 49. Here you have your gift bags and your accessories for wrapping. These are always fun to use, aren't they? Oh, look at the little gingerbread man tags. Loads of wrap. This is quite dark for my taste. I like a bit of glitz and glam at Christmas. I mean, if you can't do it at Christmas, when can you have all the sequins? I'll just pop over here as well. like your selections there you go and then here you have all your boxed cards I know they have a great section of these on the website so I won't linger too long you can pause if you like to get a closer look but it's nice to see, again, like Fortnum's lovely big selection of cards. Oh, I hope you can't hear my tummy rumbling in the background there. I'm starving. <laughs> I might have to go to their cafe in a minute. Get myself a scone. These are nice. Sometimes I just film to remind myself of what's here. Then you've got some of their neons actually displayed here at the back. So you've got a little jumping reindeer at the end, star, the gonk sound on the star, and some holly berries. Let's have a little look on what's on this table. We've got giant ball balls. Holder. Cute. Look at the snowman. Isn't he jolly? I really like these lights. These um, they're called berry lights. And then here you have all your selection of lights for your tree. Look at these. They're called festoon lights. 10 pure white LEDs. Here they've got all their neons again. And there's a penguin one, that's a different one here. So 
so you've also got your crackers, robins. Those are 15. A bit different to Fortnum's the other day, hey guys. <laughs> Although I didn't think that one for 200 with all that breakfast stuff in was actually that bad because you got quite a lot of bang for your buck with that one. I'm not going to pan down because it's just replicated. So you're not missing anything. Should we have a look and see what's inside? There you go. Just give you an idea. These are nice, aren't they? Put on your mantle. Obviously they show up better in the dark, but I think they're quite effective. 65 though, I'm not sure. Right, here we go. So we've got one of the themes here. What's this one? Nightlife. So this is your nightlife tree. And it's been donned with all the decorations in this particular range. We'll have a look at that first. Go all the way round, eh? Don't want to miss anything. I'm seeing quite a lot on this tree that I like. And we'll... I'll plunge her head first into the boxes of baubles. Okay, so you've got your piano there, your cassette there, a nice little Santa, oh that's a good colour, <laughs> little Chanello, these ballet slippers I like the ones at Fortnum's as well I mean I don't ballet I'm more like the sugar plum fairy but you know I can fantasize I like the turntable a lot oh yes I think oh, I'm gonna have to get the cassette for my dad I think all the drums it's always nice to have a little something that expresses the interest of the family members don't you think oh hold up hold up Look at these gorgeous ones. Let's see. So colourful and lovely. What's that at the back? Is that a bath? Oh, it's Santa. Santa in the bath. <laughs> I like. I do love him. Kingfisher, is that Kingfisher? I'm not a bird watcher. Okay, so that's your nightlife. Of course I've got the whole department to myself here. It's very nice. What's this one? Well, these are your London themed ones, because I'm all about that. I got myself a post box from M&S online. I don't think they're in shops yet because it had it still had ER on. And obviously our post boxes will soon have CR. So just for posterity. Dear Santa. I'm just gonna twizzle around even though it's really close to me. Another hot air balloon. You put presents in there. Be really cute and a little mini one 15 you got the bigger one down there again I'm gonna walk back around this way oh well, I bought him last year because I came back home to London after living away for a few years so I bought myself a special bauble with Santa's straddling tower bridge this bit's the community garden Again, I showed that, didn't I? 
and we've got some of these uh, woven decorations, lovely taxi cab. That tree looks like he needs a bit more, don't you think? You know I like my hot air balloons, I like this one a lot because it's got a little floating Santa. fun. I've never really seen anything like that before. It's very, very heavy though. It's going to weigh your branches down. Look at the snow globe with um, the London scene inside. A bit different, isn't it? Well, went a bit northern then, didn't I? So there we go, that's that section. I really like how they put their neon lights in the tree. They've done this for a few years. I think it looks really fun. And I'd like sharing a house with some friends. It's such a fun spin to put on a tree. Santa's Rainbow Workshop. This one's decked out for. Here's another one of those um, helpful decor cards. Give you a good look. Look at the ice cream. <laughs> I'm going the other way because I can see something I quite like. I'm like a magpie with these baubles. Oh my gosh, guys, hold up. Oh, my, my brother would absolutely love that one. <laughs> I used to live by a fish and chip shop and every year they, had, they used to put a, a pair of stuffed legs on their roof because they had a chimney and they used to replicate exactly that. It was so fun. There's some lovely baubles here for little ones. Isn't he nice? And little building blocks. If you've got a little young one in your family, perhaps baby's first Christmas. What's this? I can't make it. Oh, it's a mailbox. I'm seeing some very unusual things this year. I do like the ice cream. <gasps> Look down here. Wow. Is that for like a real tree? Or is it just to put presents in? I'm not sure if you could use that for the skirt. You could do. Rubik's Cube. This one's nice. Don't you think? Quite like that. He's a good penguin. <laughs> I think all those baubles are pretty cool to represent Santa's workshop. I'm obsessed. Coming back for that. Got your rainbow theme here, which I'm not too keen on for Christmas, but. Oh, what have we got? <laughs> Oh, a wall of tinsel, that's what I like to see. Oh. And 
them a lot more crackers. Not cracker once. And your wall of tinsel. I just want to do this. <laughs> nice skirts as well. These are beauty. Well, it's tiny, it's baubles. <laughs> I do like these a lot. The white and red. You get a lot of baubles on those. Are they really heavy? Let's have a touch. They're surprisingly light. You'd be able to work with that. Perhaps like if you had a long mantelpiece you could do that or you could hang it up like they did on that stool over there. Rotating tree! I'm obsessed with them. I think this is replicated. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on. Here you go. Yeah, these are from the workshop, aren't they? Nicely displayed, Mr. Lewis. Look at that. Doing my job for me. <laughs> Why can't they all do this? <laughs> This is the Jolly General Store. This sounds like a bit of me. Don't we all want to just have a job at the Jolly General Store? <laughs> I really like the candy cane skirt. I've got like a Scandi wicker one, but I, I think I might have to get a new one this year after I've seen that one. It's like tin of sardines. <laughs> all the shopping trolley. Have a closer look in the in the little display bit, shall we? I'm not coming out of here empty handed today, am I? <laughs> oh, it's got marshmallows in the top. Quite fancy. Coal. Who's been bad? Who's just getting coal? It's always a bit of a risk with me. <laughs> Fun. Beautiful ruby red baubles. Dorothy slippers. Ruby red they are. There's some hot air balloons. Just going to this size. So you've got community garden again here. your bronzy sort of natural look. I'll show you the other side in a minute. I'm going to go round this one. I recognise those from last year I think. Watering can for your keen gardeners amongst you. That slightly scares me. It's a bit eerie, I'm not gonna lie. That 
fantastic Mr. Fox. And there you have your corresponding ball balls for a bit of bulk. Hang on, these are nice for Halloween. For, for fall? Oh gosh. Grab a couple of them, they're really nice for fall. <laughs> As are those. down the other side of the tree there. I'm gonna spin you. A lot more ball balls. And your tree toppers. And behind me is a bit more of the same. Sugar Plum Cafe. It's very foodie, isn't it, guys? Very, very foodie. Beautiful colours. Oh, oh. I want a coffee machine that colour. Is that a Jammy Dodger? This is very Alice in Wonderland, Queen of Hearts. Look at the cake. Oh! I really like the idea of a pink themed tree. Got my eye on something. I bet you know what it is when it hears. <laughs> Full English and <laughs> yay! There's loads to take in. I really like the Jammy Dodger. <laughs> And the toaster, oh my. Really nicely done, really nicely done. And that's how we look on a tree. I'm gonna pop over here before I cross the other side because I don't know if I've shown these things I don't think I have so you've got like your tea towels then over here you've got your garlands let's have a look because I like a garland I like this frosted. I always like a frosted with a bit of glitter in. Nice pine cones. That's a really lovely one. We've got some gems in there. 
and a matching wreath. That's lovely. It's got little pearls in as well. Really pretty, really pretty, delicate. I like that a lot. Should I turn it upside down? Should I? Oh, I can't. It's too heavy. I've got books in this handbag today. Gorgeous nativity. You can buy the stable, and then you've got your characters, and then that's how it looks when you're done. I looked at those last year. I bought a couple. So we've done that one. Oh my gosh, we're still going. Look at this. This is amazing, isn't it? This is well worth a visit today. It's been a long, hard week. Feels like. I know it was only Monday I went to Fort Williams, but it feels ages away. <laughs> Lovely colour. Magical those are. Hang on a minute. I like them iridescent. I like anything iridescent where it catches the light of the fairy lights when they're twinkling. So you seem to have like one design of a star and a fairy in different colours. Barbie ball balls. Right, winter fair. Carousel horse, you're coming home with me. Been looking for an actual carousel horse. Magical house. This reminds me of something that you'd find in the ballroom. When Cinderella goes to meet Prince Charming. That's what that's saying to me. This is very heavenly and serene, angelic. done a good job with that one guys what's your favorite so far let me know in the comment what theme you like we'll have a little debate oops sorry my hand's gone to sleep lovely one <gasps> ferris wheel look a lot and I love lanterns, absolutely love lanterns. Gas lamps of St James's guys. Right, where do I go now? Is that E.T.? Sorry, random, but yes it is. Oh! <laughs> we'll nip this way and finish this section.
I'm rather liking the music choices in here. It's a bit Wonderland, don't you think? It's nice and calm. Magical. Oh, is that a bell? Okay. Every little bit of space has got stuff on. Okay, it's probably replicated, but it looks damn nice. <laughs> I think this is the end of it there because you go back into homeware there. Oh look, I like what that says. These could be the good old days. <laughs> and here they just displayed that theme and then your sugar plum. Little room setups. Should have a little look at the tablescape. I love a black fireplace like that. Winter fair. <laughs> Candle holders like antlers. This little boy is having his photo taken and I don't blame him. It was lucky for children. I'm after a little gold hostess trolley. I know that's not a trolley but it reminded me of the shape of like an art deco. I'm after one of those for this year. It really is lovely for children, put some elves in. I must say I do like the Jolly General store. Oh look what they've done here for display. Love this, this mini tree. Isn't that a lovely one? You can the kitchen on the windowsill or something. That's lovely. Really like that a lot. Put some tiny mini ball balls on there. Maybe those iridescent ones and like a pearl look nice. Then you've got like your Christmas tree. This is like Christmas bedding. Here yeah, they've got penguins on like. Oh, could fall in that right now. <laughs> All your crackers. Just to give you an idea of the shapes and colours available there. I think I've explored everything. I think I have you guys. I'm thinking that like gifts and stuff are on another floor. So I will obviously be back at John Lewis before they turn the lights on on Oxford Street. So we'll have another look around then, shall we? And see what else they bring out food wise. 
thank you so much for watching today i hope you enjoyed let me know what your favorite display was and if you saw anything you fancied i will see you very very soon for another video have a gorgeous weekend and i'll see you next week lots of love from london queenie